Happy Humbry Wednesday, everybody. It's Monday today, but I figure by the time I consolidate everything I do in the next three days, it'll be ready for a new video. Another beautiful day here in Enschede. Sun is shining and, yeah, lovely. Have a little look while I change my top out of my filthy work shirt. Well, the rain has stopped. I'm dressed. I'm happy. It's been a stressful day at work, so only one thing to do and enjoy a nice home brew. Uh, I think this is the Weizen we brewed in the very first YouTube video. And I have to say, not half bad. So, cheers. I've been uh, getting back, then, back into the the design of the electrical cabinet. So I'm sitting here looking at it and thinking, I don't really know where things are gonna go and there's no point messing around with this. So back to basics. Starting the electrical, or modifying the electrical diagram or developing it and starting to label things. For example, uh, label ones and twos and threes and fours and gold pins and all those type of things. The problem I've got to today, which has taken me maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half to research, is this little bastard here. And we, you can see there's three pins, two silver, one gold. Now I read a lot on the internet, sometimes it's back to front, someone says you need to connect the life to the gold. What I have today is an actual fan rated at 200. 240 volts, 60 hertz, 50 hertz. Uh, it's a Conrad Axial Lifter. Uh, I'm gonna hook that up to two things. One, my key switch, which is pretty simple. It's just a uh, normally open three four single pole, single throw. Just to give this little guy a test. Um, and also hook him up to this guy and figure out how the hell he works. I have a feeling number one is you're in, number two is you're neutral, and number three is your uh, ground. Well, we'll soon find out. I bought some spare switches so at least I can blow the shit out of this one. But we'll see. So, let's get to work. Okay, well I apologize if any of this seems a bit dumb to most of you, but for me it's the first time doing these things, so. This little guy has screws that don't come out, as you can see in there. And I'm gonna have to cut these guys with this guy. Hopefully he'll take the top off and make a little horseshoe. Uh, the fan. He has here a grounding, so I'm going to screw this in and drop, well, use this little piece here to grind the system. So I'm not intending to touch it while it's live, so to be sure, to be sure. Then we have two little clips for the, the hot and the neutral inside of the fan. And... Uh, unfortunately I haven't got green. It's not the only problem with this box set. The fact that there's no green, I'm just using a blue as the ground, and a blue for the live, and a blue, a red for the, so it's more like this. Uh, red for the neutral. And the key switch, done. So, first couple of steps. Um, what did I learn? One, we got the Wagyu clips. I showed you these briefly in the first video. So what you do is you lift one of these little pins up. Anyway, you lift one of the levers up, sort of snaps out of place, and you put the cable in and then close. And that forms a little connection. So there's a piece of copper in there, and that will 
close the gap and you can feed out the other side. Or if you have three, you can come on one live and then feed out the rest. What's really handy is there's a little thing in the back which tells you, okay, you need to cut your wire this long so you can, well, roughly see what you need. I'm a little bit short there, but. Well, close enough. So you whap that in there, close the clip, and she's ready to go. What I also learned is, first guess, lucky, crimped the wire, uh, focus, and I crimped that wire on, I guess, 2.5 millimeter, and yeah, the uh, action closed in 2.5 millimeter. So, that's the first one done. Uh, I'm going to wire the rest up and we'll get on with the test. Okay, so everything's wired up. We've got grind to grind by a wagyu clip. Tell you what, those are handy little bad boys. Uh, that's all wired up to the ground of the fan. Live is all wired up to live. And neutral to neutral. So, let's give this guy a plug in. Oh, I've plugged him in already. So, give him a quick test on the key switch. It is wired live to, to grind. So I'm going to put it on this spot where I can switch on. The question is, can I leave this light always being on? If the key switch is on. Fine, we've corrected our problem. I'm excited. A single light being off. Or on when the thing is off is not really helping. It's nice to know when you're, uh... So, oh, little blaster is on again, eh? Shit. Now, if I leave this thing on, you better see what you fucking tell him. So what I've done is I've unplugged earth, switch the power around, sorry the power, uh, power in Northern Irish but power for the rest of the world and I can turn the switch on. Let's try another few iterations. Okay, final test before bed. Everybody talked about earth. Earth should be connected to the switch. Uh, I disconnected earth. And everything worked. Test of the light. So I've got a feeling the light is powered on the separate circuit. We've got one live running from here. All the way in. And then instead of taking two neutrals out, please don't pay attention to the color coding. It's back to front. There should be two blues from the left here. And those are going both into the switch. And the switch is going back to the neutral. So, I've got a sneak into suspicion. This will work. We blow up the apartment. So, system is connected to the power. Let's give the switch a little go. Gotta pay attention. Okay, so the fan's on. You can find power, but no freaking light, man. Which would lead me to suggest maybe. Ah. Okay, this is new. This is new. So, we're working back to front here. I turn the switch off. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Turn the switch off, okay? We got no light. Switch power on. No part of the fan. Perfect. Switch the bad boy on. And the light comes on, eh? Woo! Been there before, we've been there before, but. When we turn it on, for the first one, the light goes off, and the fan goes on. Figure that out, boys and girls. So we've just broken the circuit to the light. I got some more thinking to do. Still, interesting. Interesting. 
Okay, so after a number of iterations and a number of YouTube views, uh, those the links to the good videos are in my uh, folder Herms build. So I save everything that's useful in that folder. Uh, yeah, we have the diagram. So as you can see, the live or the blue wire comes from the AC source uh, into number three at the key switch. Out number four into number one of the rocker switch, and so one in the rocker switch is your power source. Two is your feed to the thing you're driving, the fan, and then three, uh, you sort of got to combine the yeah. I think in America they call it your earth or your, but we call it the neutral line. So the neutral line you combine with three. And you combine with the neutral of your drive and then flow that back to your source so if you can see there's a brown wire coming out in through our switch through three and into number one the blue wire comes out and flows directly into the fan brown wire or the earth or neutral for the switch flows towards the uh, outlet from the fan and there we combine the outlet from the switch with the outlet from the fan and I think that will work so yeah they call it earth in the American video so I've wired up all the earthing cables but it didn't hurt so let's get our part up. So power is connected. Let's give it a test. Key switch should be in the off position, thereby blocking any power from getting through there. Light doesn't glow, fan doesn't spin. That's what you want to see. Switch the key switch on. And again the light doesn't glow, which is great. And when we turn it on, we get fan, we get light, and everything is hunky dory. Key switch problem, flicker switch problem, done. Next up for the testing, I think I will give it the, the relays a little go. Uh, see if we can wire them up correctly, make sure my drawings are correct. And I'm still working on my overall electrical diagram. So I hope by the end of this week to have it done. So at least by my next video, we'll have a wiring diagram. Okay. Happy homebrew Wednesday, everybody. Happy homebrew Wednesday.